And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Another exciting episode of... So that's it, is it? The rioters in Cairo were rioting because of this movie called The Innocence of Muslims, which was only released as a trailer on YouTube. I didn't need to see any more. I saw enough to really get a sense of what it was about. Uh-huh. And it was so just a B movie, really, or yeah. C or D movie. It was so cheaply made. Yeah. And I'm like, the people are obviously trying to get a rise out of the Muslim community. You know, yeah. it's like playing off all of Muslim hang-ups, you know, calling, you know, so the guy who plays Muhammad ends up being a homosexual, a child, <sighs> child molester, and so obviously, you know, they were going to get a rise out of the Muslim community, and they did. So wh- whoever put this out uh, was successful in their in their endeavor. Uh, but at the same time, there's no references reference for this director. Like it's not like he has a Wikipedia page. There's no, yeah. you know, it, it's it's <clears throat> like a pseudonym. So yeah. the whole thing is like mysterious. Like where did this video come from? No one knows who made it. But it's just yeah. floating around the, the interweb and causing the Muslim world to riot and kill our ambassador. The irony is, is like, this video I think was originally posted on someone's Facebook account, which is where it got the most, you know, where it first took off. And yeah. um, it's funny because Facebook was seen last summer when the Arab Spring occurred. All the, all the yeah. Western journalists were like, oh, Facebook, it's so democratizing like all these you know here we have this new age where through Facebook you can protest and you can organize your protests and with Facebook you can bring down tyrannical dictators and with Facebook everything will be happy and peaceful in in the long run but 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 here Facebook was you, you know the downside is that anyone could post anything on Facebook and and offend you or or incite violence and so there's definitely a downside to the the whole level playing field that Facebook allows which everyone has a voice and yet some people's voices are so misguided that you know people end up dying as a result it's so bizarre yeah you know I keep forgetting that like when you make fun of things it's Everything's not always fair game. I mean, I believe that everything should be fair game to be ridiculed and to be, or to be upheld or whatever, but uh, apparently the rest of the world doesn't feel like that. This is weird that, you know, to me that, really, that's going to piss you off if it's really poorly made, you know, movie. I mean, yeah. it's like... Well, that's, that's the thing. I mean, you know, people in the West have always been, they've had this idea of freedom of speech. Throughout history, there's always been this tendency to make fun of things, like, you know, the, yeah. And Shakespeare gets kind of body, and a lot of his contemporaries were even more body, and always kind of made fun yeah. of even the king. You know, you could always try to push the limits of what you could say and not face the gallows, and yeah. that was always yeah. kind of part of that culture. Um, but you know, back then you didn't have Facebook, so anyone speaking in an English-speaking world really didn't encounter too many Muslims. So there, because yeah. there wasn't this exchange of video, audio, like there is now, where you know so, someone in Hollywood can make a stupid, insulting movie, and suddenly everyone in the world knows about it. Yeah, and you know, so now it's this weird combination of cultures where the the open, uh, democratic, you know, free speech West is being viewed by kind of the East where you you don't have this tradition of free speech and you still have a tradition of, you know, certain things are sacred, whereas kind of in the West, nothing's sacred anymore. Like you're supposed to be able yeah. to just, you know, defy God and sit on the Virgin Mary and put a crucifix in a vat of urine to piss Christ. Do a little side note. I mean, I think, like, I think the big brouhaha was, wasn't so much that he did piss Christ, is that he did Piss Christ on the public dime. There was like oh, some yeah. kind of endowment. No, I mean, that, like that. to me, that's, like, that's the thing that's insulting about Piss Christ. Like, I'm not Christian. I, I don't 
I mean, I, I just don't think it's good art, you know, to put a, cruci yeah, a crucifix I mean, in a vat of urine. It doesn't really appeal to me as art. Uh, it doesn't really shock me, and it doesn't offend my religious sensibility. But I wouldn't do it because I care about other people's religious sensibility. It's like, I'm not going to go purposefully offend people. I don't think that's, that's just yeah. not being very nice, you know? And, uh, but, <clears throat> yeah, the, the most offensive thing to, for me about that it was that it was public publicly funded which changes yeah. everything you know i don't want to be paying for this for bad yeah, art <laughs> for dumb art <laughs> yeah it's i mean and that gives gets back to the sandra fluke thing like uh -huh. it's not that i it's not that i are making am making some kind of moral judgment against her lifestyle i don't care how many yeah. people she has sex with or how many objects or how many creatures she wants to rub up against that's not the issue it's whether or not she should demand m me to pay for it or demand of the, the public at large to fund it yeah I, I, guess, I guess it's like kind of a really like I said I mean the Sandra Fluke thing it's like you know one she bothers me because it's kind of I mean and I don't know enough about her like you know background or whatever you know, what she actually does, right, you know, to even make, like, any kind of, but, but every time I see her, she looks like, uh, I don't know. Like an, like um, an attention, she's more of an attention whore than an actual whore. <laughs> than an actual whore, <laughs> yeah. It never occurred to me once that if I wanted to, like, you know, have sex, you know, and buy a condom or, you know, do this, do that, that I would, like, actually, you know, have, you know, I mean, maybe, you know, the Planned Parenthood, stuff like that. I mean, I, like I said, I don't even know how to feel about Planned Parenthood. I mean, it's just always been there, you know what right. I'm saying? Like that with a lot you of know, things. Yeah. I mean, even like, uh, you know, the income tax. It's always been there. You don't know what life was like without it. You don't really yeah. touch Yeah. But I'm sure when it was first instituted, it was like, well, fuck you, I'm not going to pay my income tax. Are you kidding? I don't. What? What? Yeah, I, I, I work for this one. Yeah, 